Hello, and welcome to Ban in the Box for Windows. After you install Ban in the Box and open it for the first time, you will have to do a little bit of setup before you can make and play songs. The first message is, would you like to associate Ban in the Box file types in Explorer? This means that if you have a Ban in the Box song file in Windows Explorer, you can double click on it and Windows will know to launch Ban in the Box. So it is a good idea to choose yes. The next message is just explaining that to you, so click OK. Then you will have to activate Ban in the Box. For the first 30 days, you can skip this by clicking on Activate Later. Or if you have a serial number ready, click Activate Now. Make sure that your computer is connected to the internet and enter the serial number into the field. Then click the Activate button and you're done. Ban in the Box is ready to use. The next thing you should do is make sure that your audio and MIDI are both working. When you first open Ban in the Box, the default ZZ Jazz style will be loaded. This is a mix of two MIDI styles, bass and piano, and an audio style, the Jazz Brushes Real Drums. MIDI instruments are colored yellow, and audio instruments are colored green. So press play and make sure that you hear everything. If you can hear the drums playing, then that means your audio playback is working. If you don't hear the bass or piano, then your MIDI is not working. So press stop and check your MIDI driver setup. Click on opt, MIDI, audio driver setup. You might get this message saying that you do not have a MIDI output driver selected. If so, this is probably why you can't hear any MIDI yet, so click OK. In this window, all you need to do is pick a MIDI output driver. If you have a hardware synthesizer and a MIDI interface installed, this is where you would select it. Otherwise, you should have at least one MIDI output driver available here, the Microsoft GS Wavetable Synth. If this is your only option, then select it. This message is telling you that you have a DXi synthesizer enabled, so that will be used for most MIDI output instead. This is indicated here. This checkbox shows that a DXi or VSTi synthesizer is enabled, and this button shows the name of it. In this case, it is the Coyote Wavetable, which is installed with Ban in the Box and selected by default. Click OK to close the message. Then you are done with the MIDI driver setup, so click OK. Then you can test your MIDI by pressing play. If your drums track is not green, for example, it looks like this, then you might not have installed any real drums. In this case, you should test your audio setup by playing an audio demo in Band of the Box. A good way to do this is to preview a style in the Style Picker. That will play a quick demo of the style, and if you can hear it, then your audio is working. Click on Style, then click on Style Picker. If you just installed Band in the Box, then you will get this message about rebuilding the Style Picker. This will look through the Band in the Box directory and find all the styles available. Click Yes, and it might take a minute. When the style picker opens, go to one of the real style categories. These are styles that are made entirely out of real tracks and real drums. That means that every instrument in the band is real and there is no MIDI. Let's take a look at the country real styles list. Now to preview what a style sounds like, double click on it. For example, let's hear what this country ballad with pedal steel sounds like. If you can hear the song play, then your audio is working and you are ready to play songs in band the box. As an example, let's load a demo song. To load a demo of the style you have selected, click on Load Song Demo. Then click OK to exit the Style Picker window. So here we have a song. This includes the chord chart, the selected style, the tempo and key, part markers, and some basic song form controls. The course starts at bar 1, ends at bar 26, and repeats twice. The chorus is the main section of the song that gets repeated. The part markers indicate two things. One, this is the beginning of a new section, so the drummer will play a fill in the bar before it. Two, each part marker indicates either the A substyle, blue, or B substyle, green. Most styles in Band in a Box include substyles. This usually means the groove will change slightly. For example, the drums will play with more energy, 
or switch from the hi-hat to the ride. Usually an A substyle will work well for a verse, and a B substyle will work well for a chorus. So let's hear what the style sounds like. Press the Generate and Play button to generate all the tracks and start the song. The normal play button will play the song as is. The song will sound exactly the same as the last time you played it. Otherwise, if you use the Generate and Play button, you will get a slightly different variation of all the instrument performances each time the song plays. So this is the A substyle, and the B substyle part marker is coming up. So the drummer will play a fill at bar 16 and start playing the B substyle. All of the instruments in the style are shown here in the mixer. This is the name of each real track. Bass, guitar. This is the name of the real drum style, another guitar, and pedal steel. You can control any of the tracks individually. For example, turn the pedal steel volume down, or pan left or right. Add or remove reverb, or you can even change the tone. For example, values above zero will make the sound brighter, and values below zero will make it darker. So you can do whatever you want with any song in Band in the Box, including these demo songs. For example, you can change the tempo, or you can change the key. Choose a new key on the left, and that will transpose all of the chords as well as changing the key signature. Or you can change any of the chords if you want. Or you could keep the chords the same, but choose a different style. So if you are at this stage, then you are ready to create songs from scratch. Click New and that will give you a blank chord chart. Then enter chords by simply typing them in using your computer keyboard. Type in the root of the chord followed by the chord symbol. For a plain major triad, you only need the root. So to get C major, you only need to type C, then hit Enter. You can advance to the next bar by hitting Enter. And a plain minor triad uses a simple M as the chord symbol. So to get A minor, type A, M, and hit enter. You can see what you are typing in this box here. Let's try some basic jazz chords. Some minor 7th, dominant 7th, major 7th, diminished or half diminished. These are basic jazz chords, but you can enter almost any chord into Band in the Box. For example, let's try an augmented dominant 7th chord on the next G. The plus symbol indicates an augmented fifth. You can quickly add a part marker by hitting the P key, or hit it again to switch to a B substyle part marker. How about a major 13th chord? Or a major 9th? Or half diminished? You can enter just about any altered 7th chord, for example, add a flat 9. And these last two bars are for the ending. You only need to enter one chord for the song to end on. 
So we already have a jazz swing style selected from the last song, so let's press play and hear our new arrangement. Band in the Box also supports slash chords. You can type in any chord, followed by a slash and a root note. For example, let's change the C major chord to an E minor slash C. Change this A minor chord to a C major slash A. And if you need more than two chords per bar, one chord per beat for example, you can do so by using a comma. For example, let's replace this F major 9 bar with four new chords, one on each beat. C major 7, comma, D flat diminished, then hit enter. D minor 7, comma, G7. And another way to enter chords is to use the chord builder feature. Right click on a bar and click on chord builder. This gives you a list of different root notes and chord extensions. Let's try an E minor major 7th chord. Then you can advance to the next chord with this button. These are the common chord types, but you can select from a large list by using this drop down menu. This gives you access to the many chords supported by Band of the Box. There are different options for each chord. Right click and choose chord settings. For example, you can choose to push a chord so that it will play an eighth before the beat. Or you can tell Band in the Box to play the chord held or as a shot. And you can specify which instruments will play the shot. For example, let's try all except the bass. So since this chord is in the B sub style, all the instruments will stop on this chord with a quick shot, but the bass will keep walking. All of the chord settings are indicated in the chart with different symbols. The caret symbol indicates that the chord is pushed, and the two dots indicate that it is played as a shot. A single dot would mean a rest instead, and three dots would mean the chord was held. Any letters that follow the dots show you which instruments to ignore these instructions. So in this case, B stands for the bass track, and the bass will ignore the shot instruction. Just keep playing as it normally would. Any of these chord settings can also be typed in without the chord settings menu. Simply type it in exactly as it appears. So since I changed the B to a D, that indicates that the drums track will continue playing normally while all the other instruments will play a shot. We have a nice set of instruments here in this Jazz Freddy style, but you can customize any style however you like, such as removing instruments or changing them to something else, or add another instrument such as a soloist. You can do this by right-clicking on the track name and then clicking on Add Remove Real Tracks. Or you can click on Select Best Soloist Real Tracks. This will give you a list of soloists showing the most compatible solos at the top. Soloists that are swing and closest to the tempo of your song are the most compatible. You can filter the list with keywords. Let's find a sax soloist to add to this song. And if you want to change the real drum style in the song, right click on the drums track and click on real drums in style. Once again, let's use a keyword to filter the list. How about some Dixieland drums? Let's generate the song and hear the new adjustments. 